one of the best ever storyline games somehow always end up being PlayStation exclusives, but for the last years it's been changing a bit. For example Spider-Man and the games like God of War was already released on the PC and maybe sometime soon it will come maybe even to Xbox. Who knows, but for now it's on PC. And there is only one widely popular and successful series left that we really want to see on PC. And you know what? It is already there. I think you already see on the screen this game and you understand what I'm talking about. The successful series of Uncharted is celebrating its debut on PC with the Legacy of the Thieves collection. And believe me, it is really worth of watching and looking at it and understanding what's so special about this game, how it performs on PC and, well, there is only one thing that stops us before we go dive deep into this gaming review and it is your subscription. Are you subscribed? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, well, then it's great, because we are soon really gonna hit this new big number on the channel. So guys, let's begin the review of the Uncharted The Thieves Collection. So first of all, we need to mention that the game is itself 120 gigabytes overall, containing the both first Uncharted 4 A Thieves Edition and the spin-off The Lost Legacy, that is also included here. Based on the visuals alone in this game, there is nothing to complain about the collection, because obviously what people want to know is how it performs. So let's begin with this part. And then we're gonna speak a little bit about the games if you're not familiar with the series. First of all, based on the visuals alone, the game is nothing to compare about the collections. At a higher setting, the game's graphics really, really very good, and sharp textures is so amazing. I wouldn't say that this is something that we will never seen on PC before, but this is something that really shows how great Uncharted is. For the game that's been not released this year, or not the half past year, the game looks great, performs great, plays great. The graphical settings in the game sometimes, well, you feel like they're missing some kind of um, ideas there, but overall the game feels like it is great. It runs great, you don't have any bugs in the in it and overall the feeling that is amazing so let's speak about the gameplay itself a little bit the cloaking in somewhere between 10 and 20 hours for uncharted 4 gives easily one of the longest entry in naughty dogs games so if you want to really start from something that you're not gonna understand what's going on in uncharted 4 we can watch a little bit of kind of videos where they explain you the story but overall it's like a movie you can dive deep into it without actually knowing the whole whole story behind it. Overall the game is really well made from the beginning and until the end. Anyway, let's move on to the other part. Something that is called the storyline. The storyline obviously itself uh, very interesting. The opening scene in the game is something that one of the purest of Uncharted form. As Nate and his android brother race towards the pirate island in the middle of the storm, they both is assaulted by all the cyber armed mercenaries. You skate across the sea in a tube that grows more better by the second, only ever stepping to shoot some bad guys. It's a sand that immediately sets the bristle stone, but the game quickly changes the course in each captures that follow. It's not long until you realize that Uncharted 4 is trying to be a touch more mature than its predators. The next couple of hours you have preteen Nate breath to the Catholic orphanage before the jump ahead of time, where he and his brothers are kind of locked together in Panavian prison. Needless to say, this early story bit skip a bit fair, a bit, but a successful lay in the foundation for what's to come next. Uncharted 4 pacing is extremely impressive. Overall, this level where I'm mentioning that you get to be stuck into the jail is one of the coolest things you could see in a gaming history. Overall, with the fight in the beginning when Drake fights one of the prisoners, the game is really well made in the storyline. If you're not familiar overall, well, and it's funny to hear this in, let's say, 10 minutes into the long in review, but the funny thing, if you're not familiar at all with what's going on in Uncharted, in long story short, you know what's Lara Croft. Well, if you know who's Lara Croft, this guy is the purest Lara Croft guy ever, Nathan Drake. Anyway, let's stick back to the idea of the game. In the charting's overreaching plot of legendary pirate treasure, there is easy very cast that well so acted. Nolan North delivers the most noticeable Nathan Drake performance in the whole series, and Troy Baker's own standing as his slightly older Sam Drake, his brother. They actually both in the prison level, once again. 
Elsewhere, Nate's mentor Sully comes close to stealing every scene where he is with Elena, who enjoys nearly perfect chemistry with her globe hopping with her husband. Naughty Dog's habits of getting the best from its performers is absolutely clear through. Having said all that, its serious character's drama doesn't always gel with the Nathan's often ridiculous suspicious. To get the most out of Uncharted, you need to switch your brain of some degree, just like you would if you were watching an over-the-top action movie. It's not like Uncharted 4 has obviously plot holes, but if you start questioning every detail, especially in the game's later captures, it gets easier and easier to pick things apart. Why did your character do that? Why didn't he do this before? Well, you don't need to understand this. It's just like life. Some things are happening. The term tunnel whistling is probably a bit too harsh, extreme